This is Mark Gordon on Wednesday, March the 28th, 2012, and we're looking at a gold, silver, and spider report today. This is the GLD, the uh, of course, the gold ETF, and we broke out of this downward sloping channel here uh, last couple of sessions and have come up against this congestion here of moving averages. Uh, the black dotted line is the 200-day. The green dotted line is the 100-day. And uh, we got uh, into this sort of a grouping here. We are just below this blue line, which is the 50-day moving average. So lots of overhead resistance up here. Came up against it, had a couple gap up days here, looking good. And now uh, pulling back here in pretty subdued volume, which is a good thing. So hopefully we get some support down here, uh, maybe at this uh, gray line, which is the 10-day moving average, which is now starting to slope up. So maybe some support down here and at this upper trend line here. So support coming in about the 161 level. Uh, from there, we can probably go up and, uh, and try to uh, uh, take an assault again on getting above these moving averages here. Uh, one thing I want to no uh, show you on this daily chart is this is the MACD, the Moving Average Convergence Divergence uh, Indicator. Uh, this is widely followed. We do have a cross here. Uh, to the upside, which is a good thing here. So uh, a lot of investors looking at that. Uh, moving on down to stochastics. Stochastics are uh, shooting straight up here, um, not oversold yet. So we have uh, more upside potential here. So on a daily chart, uh, the GLD is looking good. And looking at a weekly chart of the GLD, we're up about a half a percent for the week. And you can see that we broke out of this uh, lower uh, sloping uh, trend uh, channel here on a weekly chart, uh, came up into some overhead resistance at the convergence of this green dotted line, which is the 20-week moving average, and at this black dotted line, which is the 40-week moving average. Still below the key 10-week moving average, however. So came up, uh, uh, got some overhead resistance, and now pulling back a little bit uh, in uh, subdued volume. So uh, uh, looking at a broader perspective, uh, we have broken the back of this downtrend. Let's see how far it takes us on this uh, uh, correction back. And hopefully we do not take out the 158.13 mark, 158.13. If we do, we are back in a downtrend. We're moving on to silver now. This is the uh, silver ETF, the SLV. And uh, we can see that we also broke uh, the back of this downtrend uh, channel also, uh, came up above it, um, closed above it here uh, last couple of sessions. And um, uh, we're now back in this channel here, getting support here at this green dotted line, which is the 100-day moving average. So again, coming up into some overhead resistance lines here at the 50-day, this blue line, and at the 100-day, the green dotted line. So silver uh, uh, pulling back here in light volume. Uh, let's see where this takes us. And looking at a weekly chart of the SLV, we're up about uh, uh, four tenths of a percent on the week. Uh, you can see that we are getting support here at this green dotted line, which is the 20 week moving average. We are having tight closes here, which suggests that there is uh, uh, institutional or large investor support here at this moving average, the 20 week moving average. Uh, so that's a good sign there. Uh, perhaps uh, we can build some sort of a base here to launch off of and, uh, and take out this blue line, the 10 week moving average. We are still below uh, this black dotted line, which is the 40 week moving average. Love to get above that. That's at about the 33, uh, let's see here, it's at the 33.48 level, 33.48. So hopefully we are building sort of a rounding bottom here in silver that we can launch up off of. And moving on to stocks now, this is the SPY, the uh, S&P 500 exchange traded fund. And uh, we are down uh, about uh, eight tenths of a percent today. Uh, we are right here near this 10 day moving average, a place where we found support over and over again uh, in this uh, uh, run here that, that has really lasted uh, all year, uh, all of 2012, uh, and then some. Uh, so um, we have uh, uh, been riding this upper gray line here. This is the Bollinger Band, the upper Bollinger Band. And Bollinger Bands are designed to keep prices within these bands 95% of the time. So uh, we really have not gotten far above this band here um, as uh, we have ridden it up and then pulled back, ridden it up and then pulled back. So. Um, uh, we had this pullback here where we uh, sliced through the gray line, the 10-day, and the red line, the 21-day moving average, and got support here at the lower Bollinger Band. 
So this is a, um, a pretty normal activity as a, a stocks uh, ascend here. But this has been a particularly strong move here. Um, not a lot of, uh, of big upside volume as it moves higher, but uh, nonetheless uh, a very consistent uh, accumulation uh, of stock um, uh, by institutional investors. Um, so uh, once again, we are uh, coming through a little bit of a pullback here. Volume is subdued. Uh, I would expect support to come in here uh, uh, as it has in the past at uh, this red line, the 21-day moving average, and to uh, use this 10-day moving average as sort of the uh, line in the sand here that uh, it's oscillating around. And looking now at a weekly chart of the SPY, we're up about just a quarter of a percent this week. And you can see this massive run here, um, uh, bottomed out here in mid-November, and then rallied back up, and then pulled back here, formed this sort of a triangle pattern here, and broke out here. 2012 has been a great year. Once again, we have made a higher high on the week. So higher highs uh, all the way up here. Uh, one pull back here uh, at the beginning of March here took us uh, almost down uh, to this blue line, the 10-week moving average. But uh, so far, so good. Uh, we keep uh, steaming ahead here. And uh, we'll, you know, nobody knows how long these rallies will last, but uh, you know, uh, the uh, stocks are definitely in rally mode. And uh, the metals are, uh, are uh, stabilizing here, looking impressive, uh, fighting a battle at some moving averages here. But it uh, uh, looks like they're building some bases they could launch up off of. Uh, so that's it. Good luck trading, everybody, and thanks for watching.